everybody, it's Giddy Parade, and today I have three of the new Great Scarier Reef Monster High dolls. This is going to be a new movie uh, from Monster High coming out next year, 2016. So let's get cracking. I'm going to start right here with Laguna. Now all of these three dolls are uh, existing characters in the Monster High line, but there are three new characters that will appear in this film and in doll version, and I will be doing a video of them as well. But I'm gonna start off with Laguna, and uh, I'm gonna read the back first, so we kinda know what's going on with this situation. <laughs> so it says Laguna Blue, she's the daughter of the sea monster, as you might know. Um, and Great Scarier Reef is the name of the film and this doll line it says the ghouls are swimming in troubled waters after a whirlpool pulls them from Monster High all the way to Laguna's home in the Great Scarier Reef but that's only the beginning of their aquatic adventures now the ghouls find themselves with fantastic fishy forms and Laguna must face her childhood bully and her worst fear Will they continue to make waves or reveal their true bravery and make their way back to stand on dry ground? Okay, so that kind of explains it. They're heading back to uh, where Laguna is from for an adventure. And on the box, it does show the two other girls I have right here, which is Torlai and Frankie. And as it says, in uh, fantastic fishy forms. So they now look kind of like mermaid fishish things. And another cool thing about this doll line is uh, all of them have parts that glow in the dark. I won't be able to show that because my camera does not pick up that, unfortunately. But uh, you can find out for yourself. And it does show that on Laguna specifically, her wings glow. And the doll stands on her tail, which is cool. So you don't need a doll stand. So let's get a look at her. Uh, one thing I do know right off the bat is this neon orange lettering is, is kind of shocking. I think that's to kind of hit home that they glow in the dark. So there again, it says glows in the dark. Look at her pretty hair and crazy neon makeup. So let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, she is out and it looks like she's in three parts. She comes in this body part, uh, this giant fin part, which is really groovy looking, and her wing part, which I'm guessing is the glow in the dark part, as it said. So let's get her together. I'm hoping and assuming this is going to be pretty easy. Well, you know what? Before I put that on, I'm just going to talk about her hair because it's really catching my eye right now. It's got kind of blue and uh, pink stripes in it. And it has this cute little twist right there. I really like that. And then her cute little ponytail. There's her little fin ears. And she's got this really bright neon makeup and blue lips. She has this kind of chain uh, all the way around her. It's almost like a little vest, but it's more of a necklace, I would say. And she has this pink belt. So all of these are removable if you wanted. And her top is just a little tiny little top and it also Velcros on and off so you could take that or mix and match probably with the other dolls. I love this part of her tail, how it's detailed and painted like that. And let's see, she bends at the waist and she bends at the, I want to say knee, <laughs> but it's not really a knee, is it? Not really. Okay, let's see how the, uh, I'll start with the wings. And let's see, oh, there's a hole in the back, just kind of like a Rochelle with her gargoyle wings. Well, you know, it's just kind of barely in there. It's not, it doesn't kind of snap. It's actually kind of loose, at least on mine. So that's something to keep in mind. Wow. wow. Okay, and the tail has this big notch in it. And um, it does look like it bends. Gosh, that looks like that could break easy if you weren't careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap it in the hole in the bottom of her tail here. 
And yeah, that went right in. Well, look at her. I mean, really, she's like this super long doll. <laughs> you kind of can't get her all in the whole frame. But anyway, it did say that her she stands on her tail. So maybe it bends backwards. And then she can kind of balance on it. Whoa, that's kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of the Gigi, uh, or not Gigi, but the Wisp doll, how uh, she has that coiled genie tail that she sits on. That's kind of cool. It kind of gives an illusion of floating. So if you really did have like a uh, ocean diorama, um, she would just fit right in there like she was swimming. <laughs> that's really cool. I like it. Okay, let's put her over there and you, oh, well, you know, I guess there's a couple more things I didn't really point out. If you haven't seen Laguna before, she has webbed hands and fingers. She has little fins on her wrists or her forearm here. Oh, she has a cute little bracelet up on her upper arm too. And I was going to say she has fins on her legs, but she has a big giant fin. So <laughs> there you go. Very cute. Okay, let's do Torlai next. So Torlai is a cat. So now she's a, a catfish, I'm guessing. <laughs> so the back of the box does have a pretty picture of her swimming around and it says her wings glow in the dark. And again, she stands on her tail. It says the same thing about a scarier reef there. And if you don't know, Torlai is the daughter of the weir cats. And sometimes she's just not so nice. On the side here, it does say Monster High, and there's a gorgeous picture of her down there. You can see how gorgeous she is. So let's just not waste any more time and get her out already. And Miss Torlai is free, or at least part of her. <laughs> All righty, here's Miss Catfish, which is super funny. I just keep thinking of some really crazy stuff over there at Monster High. Well, she has beautiful eye makeup. Can you see the glittery glittery on her eyeshadow? She's got her little ears, and they look like extra pointy. Maybe it's just me, they just seem a little extra pointy. And her orange hair with black stripes is in a ponytail. And then she has these wings, which I have seen on a fish before. I'm trying to think what they're called, um, that have these little wings. But I think they're poisonous, the ones that actually have that. If you know the name of the fish, let me know. She has this beautiful green coral looking necklace and a tiger striped uh, top. And the top hangs low like a little tunic, like almost a dress, but not quite. And then she has tiger stripes on her orange tail, <laughs> which is silly and fabulous. And it did say her uh, wings glow, so I'm betting it's these little stripes in there that glow. I bet that looks cool. They probably look cool displayed under a black light, I bet. So let's see if she bends there. She bends there. And uh, let's go ahead. Oh, you know, and this is removable and interchangeable. I'm trying to see it. Hers has straps. So the Velcro. So let's go ahead and put her tail on. And here it is. It's kind of crazy looking. It's a double tail. Again, it's. I think it's kind of trying to look like this fish. I want to say uh, clownfish, but that's not it. It's a uh, dragon, tiger fish, tiger fish maybe. Gosh, I don't know. Okay, I know I've seen them. I think they're poisonous. And uh, look at that. That is neat. So here's our little peg. I'm gonna put it right in here. I'm wondering, right in here. And yep, it moves back and forth. So we have her on her tail. And again, I'm probably gonna have the tail go to the back. Seem like it's snapping in very well. Let me just see if there's something I need to know. Maybe it can't go that way. I don't know. Yeah, hers is not uh, 
not as easy here. Maybe, oh, oh, maybe she stands on it like this. Cause hers won't bend. Whoa. Oh, wow. So she actually balances on these at the bottom ever so carefully and you get to see her whole form floating. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. That is cool. Wow. It almost defies gravity because it's it looks like she's just barely on there, which she actually is kind of barely on there. Very cool. Okay, the last of this group. And also, so you know, these are the uh, slim box dolls. These are the least expensive dolls in the new set. The um, three new figures are about $20 each United States dollar wise. And these were about $15 US each. So here we have Frankie, and of course she glows in the dark too. There's a pretty little picture of her down there. Oh, also, just so you know, here's a little picture of the movie. Did Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD come in 2016? So that should be cool. And there is a pretty picture of her daughter of Frankenstein. And what does it say? Her fins glow in the dark. Really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, let's get her out. and we don't have to attach her tail because it is all attached to her already. And I'm just gonna show you the bottom. The bottom looks like an eel, an eel tail kind of with the little fins off the side. And it swirls around and she just balances right on it. A lot like Wisp, the uh, San Diego Comic-Con doll. Wow, look at her. Let's just get a closer look at her. She has blue, black, and white striped hair, which is really very pretty. And she has some really fancy makeup on too with a little bit glitter accents. Oh, I like the little lightning bolts there. I love the uh, kind of bolt eyebrow detail. That's pretty cute. And look at, she has these fins on her arms too. I noticed Torlai doesn't have any fins on her forearms, but Frankie and Laguna do. And she has this cute little top on. And of course, she's got her little bolts in her neck because she's the daughter of Frankenstein. And little ruffles on her shoulders. I love little details like that. And she has, oh, it's a little eel. It's a little eel uh, belt. It has a little head there. It goes around to her little tail here. And then it looks like kind of gold coral painted on her. And she bends at her waist and at her knee, if she had knees. <laughs> and then she has these pretty fins on the side, which I'm guessing these are the ones that glow in the dark. So that would be really cool. And there she is. And you can kind of see how that bends there and the tail again. So let's see how hard or easy it is. Oh, and this part of the tail uh, bends too this little eel part so that's cool so let's see how easy or difficult it is to get her to balance wow super easy super super easy well I guess it's kind of cool they have their hands up because they're kind of swimming underwater right <laughs> wow well, what do you guys think of this kind of reminds me of freaky fusion because they kind of fused into a uh, fish or mermaid form also so I think that's kind of cool so let me know are you excited to see the movie do you like this concept or is it just too freaky because I'm sure for some people it will be just a smidge too freaky and which one's your favorite gosh I think I'm gonna go with I don't know who my favorite would be um whale I don't know I don't think I can choose I don't know. Maybe Torlai, just because it's kind of funny that she's a catfish. <laughs> okay, everybody.
everybody be sure to subscribe and bye for now.